In today's video, we're testing out four viral videos that people have sent us to see if they're real. Guys, several of you have sent in videos to us that you're curious if they're real, if they were faked, if there's camera trickery, what's happening in them. Today, we've got four that we're going to put to the test. Here's the basic idea. You guys have sent us several different videos that you want to see tested out to see if they are possible. Are they real or were they faked? Today, we'll try to recreate those videos and put them to the test. So you found all of these and they were in Instagram videos, TikTok videos. Yeah, and all of these are ones that people sent to us saying like, hey, are these real? Can you test these? Stuff like that. We're going to see if we can recreate each of the four videos as they were in the viral videos that were sent to us. And then we'll explain how each of them was done. I like it. First up, we have one where a video showed a way to make a magnetic putty. So uh, involved taking a bowl. Okay. You got it. And now it, it didn't show that there was a whole Coca-Cola bottle, but there was a bottle with a red ring around it, which mm -hmm. is usually Coke. And I think the tag on TikTok said Coke on it. So okay. they poured some cola. And it wasn't very much. Nope. That may be too much right there, but okay. we're, we're going to go with that. Then they had some toothpaste. I was not able to identify the brand, but we've got some Crest toothpaste. And then they had an unidentified white powder, but the method that the powder was clumping up really looked like baking, baking soda. soda to me. So we're just going to throw in some baking soda. Of course, we get all sorts of nice fizzing as it hits the cola. Then we're going to take our spoon and just stir this up until we've got a nice even mixture. So okay. next up, it was put in the microwave for one minute. All right, we've got our putty. Let's test if it's magnetic. Giant powerful magnet. Very powerful magnet. Oh, magnetic putty, look at this. Whee! Here's what really happens. Mmm, minty fresh. Good, good, wonderful, good. Well, here's the result. Guys, if there's that much metal in your toothpaste, I'm very concerned. It bubbled up, overflowed, and made a little bit of a mess in the microwave, which I suspect might have been the goal of the video in uh -huh. the first place, is to get people to try that. Uh, mostly, just smells really strongly of toothpaste, and it's kind of a foamy, bubbly mess that has definitely not turned into anything. Well, I guess I haven't tested if it's magnetic. No. No magnetic reaction I'm whatsoever. glad to know there's no Shocking. metal in my toothpaste or my Coca-Cola or my baking soda. Right? So, no. Switch the bowls out when it's in the microwave. Ta-da, you can turn it into anything you want. You can turn it into a roast chicken if you want. Like it's a- uh, Good beginner videography. fake videography, yeah. Kind of. <laughs> All right, so next up, a video that showed that a nine volt battery would get water swirling to look like a sort of mini tornado. We've made these little vortexes before. And it's videos, even after you pull out yeah, the battery, the battery it just gets keeps started. Going. And then you get a vortex out of it. Uh, it did say to use salt water though. So we've got some salt here. It didn't say how salty, but you know, that's plenty right there to make water good and conductive, which I think is very important. We don't even know that they were using salt water. We they don't. just said that it was salt water. We hope they were. We're making sure to use salt water. Yeah, otherwise this will never work. That was perfect. Let's see what happens if we actually put a battery in salt water. It's not swirling as a tornado. Strange. And it's especially not swirling as a tornado after I take the battery out. I feel like if this worked, then throwing car batteries into pools would be a much bigger thing. That would be very entertaining. <laughs> um, it's not a thing though. The video that we saw, it cut off before you saw how the water slowed down or when it slowed down or if it ever slowed down or if it just 
spun wildly out of control, creating a vortex that enveloped the entire house and city that it was in. Uh, that's because it was started by something else. We used this little hand mixer, gets a pretty good tornado going. There you go, tornado. Vortex spinning water in the cup, it's amazing. And then right as it's starting to settle down, you put the battery in and then you reverse the whole thing and it looks like the battery causes it to happen. Nonsense, of course. Water is not a motor. You can't just add electricity to it and have it spin. Uh, but also, like the battery came out and then it spun more and more. That yeah. defies conservation of momentum. Like you can't, there's nothing adding energy into the system in any way at that point. It's not gonna pick up and go faster. Sorry, it's complete nonsense again. I've seen several versions of this next one, like five or six. We're gonna make forks and batteries make a coin spin. So we connect three forks, and then we just need to put a coin right in the very center. And then our batteries, we get each one of these touching each one of our forks, and coin spin. So this is what actually happens. There's no orientation of batteries and nope, forks nope. that's gonna make a coin just sporadically start spinning like that. It, it's not gonna happen. Uh, even, even in countries where their coins are magnetic, in the United States coins are not magnetic, in some countries they are, uh, but even with magnetic coins, that's not going to work. Uh, it, you're just not creating any kind of circuit that's gonna do anything to it. Sorry about that. It is another video where it was reversed. Somebody spun the coin and then put everything into place. All right, what's our last trick? Last trick is making a large bubble, like a soap bubble, in your hand. Just oh. popping it into existence. This video, once again, like uh, several we've tested today, uh -huh. it's just filmed in reverse. Um, you can't just make a full-size bubble pop into your hand, but you can pop a bubble and then move your hand around. And in fact, in the original video, if you look in the background, you can see some ripples moving in. Towards the drip. Which is not how ripples work. Guys, camera tricks are really fun, but you don't want to believe everything you see on the internet. We say that a lot. And uh, these are all even tricks that you know, it doesn't require really editing. It's just playing in reverse or uh, pausing and switching things out. There are people who are really, really good at video trickery that can, you know, pull stuff off that you'd never be able to tell like that. You know, that's when you get people like Captain Disillusion who come in and show you how things were edited. And as Callie said, don't believe everything you see on the internet. And that's, you know, why we like doing these debunking type of videos. A lot of the time people are just doing it for fun. They think mm -hmm. it's funny and it's like, oh, it's not. Oh no, you have toothpaste in your microwave now. Yeah, not a huge problem. Sometimes people do it for malicious intent. They're really trying to trick people and deceive them and trying to make them damage property or sway their line of thinking or something like that. So critical thinking is important. Um, and so are bubbles. Bubbles are very important. Guys, that's it for today, but we've always got new cool stuff for you to see. Go ahead and hit that button right there to subscribe so you never miss a cool video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.